Hey, this is Russ. <laughs> Time for another knee video. Now, I was thinking about what am I going to tell you guys this week? Well, I actually have some big news to tell you. <laughs> you know, I was using a mobility scooter for a long time. Not that I was riding it around everywhere I went. I used it for my photography uh, classes when I was teaching uh, my students. We'd do field trips, and um, in order for me to get around on the field trips, I used the mobility scooter. Now, the mobility scooter that I have is a portable mobility scooter. So this thing uh, comes apart and uh, it fits in the trunk of my car. So I think the heaviest part is about, I think it's like 29 pounds, something like that. The whole, the whole thing weighs about 85 pounds when it's over and done with. And I actually have two batteries for it too, so I, I can go further if I needed to. So anyways, I've kept this uh, mobility scooter in the trunk of my car for years. Yeah. <laughs> To the point where I couldn't put anything else in the trunk. And so, you know, if I go grocery shopping or something like that, the groceries would either go on the seat next to me in the passenger seat or maybe even on the floor of the passenger side or it'd go in the back seat, right? So I'm just not used to opening that trunk unless I'm going to use it for the mobility scooter. Okay, there was a time actually too. Um, I'll, I'll put a link to the video here where I actually fell outside of Costco. It was the first time... I uh, I felt comfortable enough to go, uh, I think it was the first time, felt comfortable enough to go to Costco, um, and I took my own scooter. You know, the, the Costco scooters are the slowest things in the world. <laughs> Let me say that. <laughs> Let me just say that. You know, if you use their scooters, that thing doesn't move. It just, it's slow. My scooter goes a lot faster. It's like 4.5 miles an hour or something like that, 4.2 miles an hour, whatever. <laughs> And uh, so I took my own scooter out and I used it at Costco. And so when I was over and done with, um, I um, was putting it back in the trunk of my car. And keep in mind, too, that my knee was still pretty bad. It wasn't perfect condition. Um, so I was lifting up the, uh, I think it was the, yeah, it was the, the, the floorboard section. Um, and I was putting it in the trunk and I just felt my, my knee give out. I just didn't have the strength to hold myself up. So uh, I, I knew I was falling down with this scooter. <laughs> First thing I said was, okay, protect the knee. And the second thing I was thinking was, protect the, uh, protect the scooter. <laughs> so I fell backwards, uh, landed on my butt, and um, the scooter didn't have any damage because it kind of landed on me. <laughs> no damage to the knee, but I felt really bad. And uh, the interesting thing was nobody got up to help me. I mean, I was in the parking lot, in the handicap parking lot section, and there was people directly behind me and some other people around, but not a single person got up to help me. But eventually, uh, one of the Costco employees saw me. He came running over to help me up, and then my wife uh, saw me too uh, because she was putting away the, the shopping cart. You know, you put it in the little shopping cart corral, and she was coming back. So they both helped me to get up. So that was my first experience on the scooter again um, after uh, the knee replacement. So I don't know, it was several months after the knee replacement, but I still had issues, right? So anyways, the scooter has been sitting in the trunk of my car for a long, long time. And uh, so today I decided it was time to get it out of there. Yeah, to me, that's a major milestone because I kind of made sure that the scooter was always around in case I ever needed it. If we went shopping somewhere, I didn't feel like I could walk it or something. At least I have something to fall back on. I actually did use it once. Um, I think we went to uh, we went to Gurney Mills up in Gurney, Illinois, and uh, that that's a big place. It's an indoor mall, but it's huge. Okay, and I said I, there's no way I'm walking this whole mall, so I took the scooter out, and then uh, my wife was walking, and I just scootered it. So having it there has always been like a good crutch for me, just in case I ever needed it. So. Today, taking it out was uh, a big milestone. That was basically me saying that my knees are probably good enough that I don't need this in there as an emergency thing. Now, it's not like I'll never use it again because I know that if we go someplace um, that, that's far and a lot of walking, I probably will pull it back out and use it because it's just easier, <laughs> all right? So I just want to let you guys know that, you know, it is a big milestone for me to get that thing out of my trunk. So let me show you a picture of my trunk <laughs> so you can see how clean it is now. Now, the interesting part is that uh, my trunk, uh, the the floor liner, or I should say the, the trunk liner, 
is reversible. On the underneath, underneath side, it's rubber. So I had always had it on the rubber side so that the wheels and everything, if it got dirty, wouldn't be dirty on the, on the carpet part of it. But I always put um, cardboard underneath. You know, I went to Costco and got a whole bunch of used cardboard boxes and just stuck it in there, and then it would always roll on that. So that way the, the, the trunk wouldn't be dirty. So I just flipped it over, and man, that trunk looks really clean. <laughs> Anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know that uh, it is a big milestone for me. And besides that, uh, I kind of felt that, you know, this, this thing is kind of heavy. Uh, gas prices are just really out of control at this point. And I said if I can take off at least, uh, I think it's 85, 87 pounds out of the trunk, it probably save me gas anyways. So, so there you have it. Just wanted to let you know. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Let me know in the comments below if uh, you used a, mo a mobility scooter or whether you're still using a mobility scooter or when you go shopping, do you use one? Okay, put a comment below. Anyways, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys next time.